Hey loves, welcome to day 37 of the last 90 days of the year video journals. Sheila here, the creator of Madame Bay, where we talk about everything weight loss, wellness, healing naturally, healthy recipes, and lifestyle. I think I should add personal development to that or self-development because I've really been into that jam lately. I, you can't move forward if you don't change your habits and, I don't know, generally just grow. So... I'm on the quest to be the best version of myself. You guys know that if you watch this video over here where I was talking about it's the last 60 days of there. It's no longer the last 60 days. But yeah, it's about 57 now. But yeah, I'm still on the quest. However, today I woke up and I wasn't in the mood. And I was like, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? And then it crossed my mind. I've been in bed all morning. I got up at 8, but I've been in bed. It's now 2 p.m. That's not being the best version of yourself, is it? I doubt it is. Anyway, right now I'm dressed and I'm ready to attack that day. I'm just going to have a much longer day because I wasted my whole morning. Well, it's not wasted. First of all, it's important to be alright mentally. So today I want to share with you guys some tips on how I get myself out of that funky mood. I have a video you guys can check out. I'm going to leave a link to it above. You can check it out. I was talking about how to get out of a slump but that was the kind of slump that you are in if you've been in for a couple of days i haven't been in a slump for a couple of days i've been actually going no matter what the universe brings me you guys know that i've been sharing all my videos and if you want to know whether i'm in a good place or bad place just watch my videos because my vid if they are more motivational and not like tips kind of thing just know i'm trying to i mean i'm trying to get through something and me being positive and being positive to you guys is my way of dealing with my stuff and actually helps so today i was thinking what am i going to record for you guys because really i wasn't feeling it i didn't work out that means i didn't have a morning routine i didn't have any of that stuff which i which i promised to start this week but um i'm not beating myself up too much i'm kind of beating myself up just not so much so today my tips for getting out of the bed and attacking the day are always the first thing is before you when you want to improve yourself you have to have a plan when you have a plan it doesn't mean that you have to follow it a hundred percent i'm not following the plan a hundred percent however at the back of my mind i have it and because i have it i'm always thinking that oh my god i'm not putting in the work oh my god i'm not putting in the work and just that thought alone is going to push me to you know put in the work the second tip is i didn't write down notes i didn't prepare this so i'm just kind of speaking out of my mind the second tip is meditate so what does meditation do for you? Meditation helps you. A lot of people say they are meditating, by the way, but they're actually not. They are just like thinking. Meditation means quieting the mind. Just think about nothing. A lot of times we think too much and that thinking too much, you start feeling, oh my God, I have a lot of stuff to do. I need to do this. I need to do that. But sometimes all that stuff doesn't help you in any way. So quiet the mind. I like to quiet my mind, do some meditation. If you can't meditate, do like some guided meditations. Those are really good. That is how I started and I still do guided meditations up to now. And then the third thing is, aside from guided meditations, there is this affirmations. <laughs> the word kind of got lost. The reason why I actually journal, the reason why I created my journal, just a minute, I gotta go get it. Yeah, the reason why I created my journal is... I know I'm not on day 49, but this shows day 49 is you see this part over here. You do morning affirmations. Those morning affirmations help you. I don't know. They just put you in that kind of mode. They program your mind. And if you do not have any morning affirmations, dude, there are so many videos on the internet with morning affirmations that can help you. I don't know. Set your mindset right. Like they tell you, I am strong. I am good enough. I am wealthy. I am abundant. I'm like you keep telling yourself i am affirmations are these affirmations that you keep telling yourself what you are you, you keep saying what you want to be and just make your mind repeat these things all over and over and if you can't think about them just get a guided affirmation and it will just kind of put you in the mood and then the next thing is for me i was stuck in bed the five second rule i've talked about the five second rule when i had just started this 90 day journal i actually do it for the morning mostly when i can't get out of bed it's five four three two one and jump out of bed but yeah today i didn't use it in the morning however after i did my meditation it was a guided meditation once i was out of it i did five four three two one and jumped went to the shower and now i'm ready to go and 
it's so funny sometimes you only need one thing you just need to make the first move in order to get the ball rolling so find something that puts you in that mood for me it's working out today i didn't work out so probably that is why i wanted to work out but i didn't work out so i'm just gonna go take a walk i'm gonna go to my office you guys know my office golden bites i did a video there before however i want to do a video on that place because it has the best poutine in one as a matter of fact i'm going to put it as one of my videos like i said i want to share with you guys some tips on how you can eat out but still eat healthy and I'm going to feature that place it also has the best poutine in town so you guys are gonna love it anyway well the people in Montreal are gonna love it but then again since it's a fast food place they sell like fried stuff it's going to be the best example for you guys to get uh, some tips on how to eat out because most of us don't go to the healthiest place when we go out we go to the most unhealthy place so I'm going to share with you guys some tips in the near future it should be kind of like this week anyway so yeah what did I mention I said I don't even remember the tips in order so I'm not going to mention them now I said yeah I don't remember I'm trying to remember each of the tips but since they were off my mind I forgot all of them however I practice all of them I'm laughing at myself right now because that is the craziest thing but yeah do the five second rule jump out of bed take a shower and then do the most you can do I always tell you guys you do not have to do it all you really don't just do the most you can do put in the work where you can so today I didn't work out I'm not beating myself up I'm just gonna go take a walk it's a 30 minute walk to the workplace so I'm just gonna take a 30 minute walk and that's my workout still 30 minutes walk back so it's technically an hour workout even if i haven't worked out i'm not beating myself up so and on top of that i still haven't eaten so that's a good thing because at least i'm keeping on track i technically i'm intermittent fasting today and i think we're going to test out some new recipes at the restaurant where we're going to take pictures so i'm going to be eating fast food today however i am always mindful and it's part of my job so it's fine it's okay to have one bad meal a week or every now and then as long as you don't make it a habit yeah so that's it for me and right now i'm in a good mood i woke up in some kind of funk and i can't believe like i'm so energetic right now literally those tips i think there were about four tips the five second rule meditate don't overthink it i don't remember what the first one was I don't remember to be honest but yeah meditation just sometimes we overthink things and those things don't even like don't mean nothing and you think stuff and compound on them even if and this is the thing about human nature you don't compound on we you don't compound on them to the positive you compound on them to the negative side and then you can all of a sudden you feel so overwhelmed yet you're not supposed to be overwhelmed that is why i meditate and say my i am affirm affirmations because they remind me every day that i am stronger much stronger than i think i am you your mind okay this is the last thing so your mind is very strong the subconscious mind is what is ruling the show if you didn't know that and the subconscious mind is the your comfort zone so basically everything you're used to doing your mind is going to convince you to stay in bed your mind is going to convince you to not take a workout it's going to convince you and talk you out of the things that are good for you because it's what it's used to and it's the comfort zone however if you have a plan to do something that is where your regular mind is that's why you have to sometimes meditate so you stop thinking about all these things and just become rational you take yourself out of it and look at it from a bird's eye angle and yeah that's the reason why i meditate that's it for me today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did do not forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel also do not forget to subscribe to my channel because i make new videos every day and i'm dedicated to motivating you to putting in the work to lose weight or be the best version of yourself inspire you or educate you in some kind of way and i will be back here tomorrow as always do not forget to stay motivated be patient trust the process and spread the love i will see you tomorrow Bye for now guys.